Where does the Karen meme come from? What ingredients are needed to make a Karen? Is there a male version of Karen? What's up everybody, welcome to 4K land. I honestly did not know that the iPhone could film in 4K. So I've clearly been living in 2005 while everyone else is in 2050. So for the last five years, I've been living in New York City. And like most people in New York City, I didn't give a shit about the stoplights. Every light is a green light when you're the pedestrian. Run me over, pay my student loans, Go for it, please, I'm drowning in debt. Anyway, so I'm hanging out in the West Village, crossing the street since there's no cars, along with another pedestrian who happened to be a woman at whatever pace I want, because again, I'm the pedestrian and suddenly a car comes rushing through a light and is forced to slow down and almost stop because of us. And a man yells out the window, F you Karens. Being the person that I am, I thought this was hilarious, but it also got me thinking. Was ignoring stoplights considered a Karen thing to do? If I was a dude, would he have called me something else? What even is the male version of Karen? Does an equivalent exist? So I posed the idea to my Twitter and while my friend did point out that there are chads, it didn't really feel like the equivalent to Karen. And honestly, Google was not very helpful in solving this question either. In this two-part series, I'll be talking about the background of Karens and Beckys since they're the most common cop calling memes, why these memes are mostly comprised of women, specifically white women, and if there even is a male equivalent to the Karen. By the way, all sources used for this video, mentioned and unmentioned, are in the description below. Let's start with some definitions. According to Urban Dictionary, Becky is a basic white girl obsessed with Ugg boots, Starbucks, and having a bigger butt. Just so you know, the butt thing is a reference to the intro of Sir Mix-a-Lot's Baby Got Back. It's a classic. According to this Washington Post article written by Karen Atia, over the years and partially thanks to Beyonce, Becky was popularized in the black community to refer to a white girl, especially one with backstabbing tendencies. This is in reference to the lyric in Beyonce's song, Sorry, Becky with the good hair. From a more historical side, the meme of Becky, according to knowyourmeme.com, Barbecue Becky, also known as BBQ Becky, also known as white woman calling the cops, refers to a series of Photoshop memes of a woman in sunglasses calling the police in a park on a group of black people having a cookout in an Oakland, California park. This meme emerged on April 29th, 2018, when a woman named Michelle Dion posted a video on YouTube called White Woman Called Out for Racially Targeting Black Men Having Barbecue in Oakland. The post received more than 1 million views in two weeks. Charcoal grills are not allowed here. <laughs> so they should go buy a new grill because I, I just looked they at it and it doesn't doing say anything. They charcoal grills in here. I don't care what Are you sure? Are you are. sure it's not because you don't want black people being out here? It has nothing to do with their race. It seems like a new Jim Crow going on because for some reason every time I see it, black people are the ones targeted regarding barbecuing at the lake. And you're a perfect example of it right now. It's two men sitting out here just chilling and, and this whole setup is real clean. I don't see they're not they don't have loud music. You want to call the police on them. I have called the You want to call the police on them for having a barbecue on a Sunday at the lake. Yes. I just looked at the map and it said this map is fine barbecue. No, it's not. It does. That was just a snippet. The video is 25 minutes long, but I think you get the point pretty quickly. A white woman uncomfortable with the mere existence of black people calls the cops on them. A sadly classic racist American story that we're all familiar with by now. According to Urban Dictionary, a Karen is the stereotypical name associated with rude, obnoxious, and insufferable middle-aged white women. Karens take everything wrong with the typical over-entitled Western woman and crank it up by several thousand percent. But Karens have developed their own unique characteristics slash antics as well, including but not limited to, and I'll only list a few of these for the sake of brevity, reveling in making the life of retail workers a living hell by constantly making a scene over nothing and demanding to speak to the manager, a near universal battle cry among Karens. Threatening to sue someone for a minor misdemeanor they may or may not have committed and may or may not have even involved Karen at all. Being part of the anti-vax crowd and relying on essential oils for the health of their children because of a Facebook post she saw. 
There is some speculation about where the Karen meme comes from. Some say it's from Karen in the movie Mean Girls, or maybe from the 1989 character Karen from the movie Goodfellas, or maybe even a Dane Cook comedy routine. There are many other theories, but the point is that the origins of the Karen are ambiguous. In 2020, the Karen moniker has been especially prevalent due to the incidents that happened in Central Park in May 2020. To be more specific, Central Park Karen is the white cop caller name of Amy Cooper, who was recorded calling the police on Christian Cooper, no relation, a black birder, which is literally just someone that watches birds, in Central Park in New York City after being asked by him to leash her dog in the park. Okay, so this woman calls the cops on a man who is literally just bird watching, which is arguably one of the most harmless, if not boring things in the entire world to do. This obviously makes complete sense, so let's just watch the clip. Would you please stop? Sorry, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording you. Please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking a picture of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. I'm sorry, I can't hear you either. I'm being threatened by a man in the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. I'm in Central Park in the ramble. I don't know. Thank you. This video went extremely viral for obvious reasons, and as you can see in the video, this woman is not being attacked or threatened in any way whatsoever. In the aftermath of this video going viral, a few things happened. First off, Amy Central Park Karen Cooper had to return her dog to the place that she adopted it from, and on top of that, she was placed on administrative leave. Even New York Mayor Bill de Blasio condemned this video and her actions, saying, The video out of Central Park is racism, plain and simple. She called the police because he was a black man even though she was the one breaking the rules. She decided he was the criminal and we know why. This kind of hatred has no place in our city. And finally, on July 6, 2020, the cops charged Cooper with filing a false report. Just so you guys know, a false report is a crime punishable by up to one year in jail. When Christian Cooper heard the news, he had no reaction. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to let me know. I really appreciate it and I really appreciate you. So it turns out that Know Your Meme actually has a series on white cop collar nicknames, which is defined as a series of mocking pseudonyms given to white people who have received viral attention for calling the police on African Americans. Naturally, I went there next to learn more about our not so favorite meme people. As we all know, there's a lot of white cop collar memes in America. Some that I'm familiar with and some that I'm not so familiar with that you guys might know. A few of these people include Golf Cart Gale, who called the police on a black father watching his son's soccer game in 2018. Permit Patty, an Oakland woman like Barbecue Becky, named Allison Ettel, who called the police on an eight-year-old black girl and her mother for selling water outside her apartment without a permit. She called the cops on an eight-year-old for selling water. Like, is that even legal? And finally, baggage claim Becky, a female baggage claim attendant who was filmed refusing a black woman the name and contact of a manager after she attempted to report a customer service issue at Logan International Airport in Boston, Massachusetts in August 2018, just a few months after Barbecue Becky. Returning to my original point, the thing that surprised me most about this page, or I guess didn't surprise me, was that only two out of these 13 cops calling memes were men. 85% of racist white people are apparently women. So like any normal, healthy, young millennial slash Gen Zer slash Zillennial, I don't really know, society has confused me. I did some Googling because there's no way that America is misogynistic and racist. And I came across this article by Time Magazine. The article starts off by talking about San Francisco Karen, AKA Lisa Alexander, who in June, 2020, along with her partner, demanded to know if James Juanillo, who was stenciling Black Lives Matter in chalk in front of his own building, was defacing private property. Check out the clip. Hi, I'm asking you if this is your property. Why are you asking? Because well, it's private property. Because it's private property, so sir. So are you defacing private property or is this your building? And you don't know if I live here or we're if this actually, is my property. We actually do know. That's why we're asking. Oh, really? Because yeah. you live here, right? You no, said so. because we know the person who does live here. So you, your choices are to call the cops if you believe I'm calling a crime, and I will more than be happy to talk to them. We will do Lisa so. and Robert. Yeah. I'll be right here. Okay, thank you so Bye. Much. And that, people, is why Black Lives Matter. That's Karen, and she's calling the cops. 
and this is gonna be really funny. Juanillo later told the media that the couple called the police, who he says recognized him as the resident instantly. While Juanillo was fortunate to have been recognized and unharmed, calls like this could result in injury or even worse, death. The worst part is this isn't even an exaggeration. This guy literally could have been killed. The article continues stating that Alexander's skin company was boycotted and that her partner was fired from his job. That's unfortunate, but so is racism. To continue, Katie Lang, the author of this article, builds on our definition of Karens saying, a slang term for a middle-aged white woman who have become infamous online for their shameless displays of entitlement, privilege, and racism and their tendency to call the police when things don't go the way they want. And I, the maker of this video, would also like to build upon that definition, giving a shout out to those Karens who A, don't wear masks, and B, blatantly ignored social distancing guidelines. She then lists more situations of Karens in the recent months, including Central Park Karen, before moving on to why Karen footage is becoming more and more significant. To do this, she brings in Dr. Andre Brock, an associate professor at Georgia Tech of Black Digital Culture. The viral widespread of Karen footage is the result of a convergence of the coronavirus pandemic with collective outrage over police brutality. The week that the video of Amy Cooper in Central Park went viral was the same weekend that George Floyd was killed after now former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin knelt on his neck suffocating him. The Central Park video only highlighted the extreme violence and potentially fatal consequences of a white woman calling the cops out of spite and professed fear. Lang continues saying that in a larger sense, the mainstream calling out of white women and the dangers that their tears pose has been building up to this moment. There's an often cited stat that 52% of white women voted for Donald Trump in the 2016 election. Meanwhile, the constant lies of white women by Kellyanne Conway and Sarah Huckabee Sanders in service of the Trump administration have made it abundantly clear that white women can and are often complicit in oppressive systems. Coupled with the rise of social media and the smartphone camera, the longtime narrative of white women as helpless victims in need of protection is now being challenged by video evidence of them as instigators of not only conflict, but violence. Now, some of you might think that I'm diverging from the point talking about racism in Donald Trump and George Floyd, but the fact is it's all connected. Internet culture and society feed off one another. So when you live in a society that suffers from systemic racism, it makes sense that something like the Karen meme would emerge in order to cope with a problem in a humorous way. Because when you put a name to something, overcoming it and defeating it seems that much more possible. And finally, we get to why so many of these cop calling memes are about women and not men, AKA how the Karen meme relates to the violent history of white women. To make a long story short, it's because the white woman in the social hierarchy of America is given power over the black man. Let me explain. Or I guess let's let Dr. April Williams, an associate professor in communications and media at the University of Michigan explain. She says, quote, if we're thinking about it in a historical context, AKA during the era of American slavery, where white women are given the power over black men and that their word will be valued over a black man's, that makes it particularly dangerous. And that's the problem. White women are positioned as the virtue of society because they hold that position as the mother, as the keepers of virtuosity. All these ideologies that we associate with white motherhood and white women in particular, their certain role in society gives them power. And when you couple that with this racist history where white women are afraid of black men and black men are hypersexualized and seen as dangerous, then that's a really volatile combination. And that's what people aren't seeing. They do have this power over black men and they're exercising it every time that they call or threaten to call the police. Karen Atia builds on this in her article, which I mentioned earlier, saying, in America, white women are often believed and protected at all costs, even at the expense of black lives. She talks about 14-year-old Emmett Till, who in 1955 was falsely accused of whistling at a white woman, which resulted in him being beaten to death and continues saying, Becky and Karen memes and jokes should be understood in this context, part of a long tradition to use humor to try and cope with the realities of white privilege and anti-blackness. Katie Lang and Karen Atia make a lot of really good points that I didn't mention in this video. So if you'd like more on this topic, I highly recommend that you go check out their articles. But to answer my initial question of why cop calling memes are comprised of so many more women rather than men, it's because in America, white women are seen as needing to be protected from the black man. A rhetoric passed down generation after generation emerges today as white women calling the police on a black man that simply wants this woman to leash her dog in a place where you're supposed to leash your dog. So now that we know that the term Karen is driven by racial and gendered histories, is there a male equivalent? 
And if so, does it share the same history as its female counterpart or does it emerge from another part of history? Find out in part two next week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then.